Ahoy and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. Um, so, sometimes when you're self-shooting, things go horribly wrong, like this intro that I tried to film for today's video. Ahoy and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. Today, you're going to be joining me. As you can see, that's completely unusable. So, I'm making a video at the destination. So I'm going to hand over to me of the past to uh, take you through our trip. Bye bye, lovely view. So we were moving from Little Venice on this day to Kensal Green and as you probably know double mooring in London is not an uncommon occurrence by any stretch of the imagination. We were quite lucky because we had two of us. It can be quite difficult to get out if there is just one of you but if there's two of you it is relatively simple. So first of all you're going to want to untie your boat if your the boat is on the inside and um and then the next step is to untie your neighbours. Um, so you can either use their centre line or their or their or the line that would be the front line to you. So in this case, their back line. Um, we're using their back line because it's long enough. But if it's not long enough, you want to go with. Them. We did actually have a a really nice time as we got to meet these neighbours, and they were absolutely lovely. So a big shout out to you guys, and uh, hopefully we get to see you guys again. So what we're doing is we're giving us a push and uh, we're going to pull the line from the other boat over the top and uh, then we're going to come out and I'll pull them in and Seb will pick me up later. So double mooring is a thing in London. Everybody does it, you kind of just got to get used to it. The only thing is when you're a liveaboard boat you've got stuff on your roof so you've got to whip the rope over the top of all the stuff on your roof that being the other boat's centre line. So you can then let your boat out and pull their boat in. This could be very difficult on your own and usually people just ask the person who's in the boat to help them if that's the case. Oh, I really like this green boat on the uh, left-hand side here. It's very, very pretty. So this is like quite a typical example of what it's gonna be like in central London. You might have some greenery, but there's gonna be lots and lots of nice tall buildings. Cause we've got lots of people that wanna live here. Um, but it can be quite pretty, it can be quite ugly, as you'll see later in this video. On the right here you can see some stuff on the wall it's a lovely mural made of recycled materials i'm big into my recycling and look at what can be done with it and here's a bin boat uh get excited if you see a bin boat especially if you're not anywhere near any facilities um always run down the boat we have a special sign so seb knows what i'm doing chuck all your stuff in the bin boat we didn't need to this time we knew where we were going now you often get these motorways that go over the top so these obviously are quite noisy but they can be really useful you can moor under them and repaint your boat uh, without worrying about whether or not it's going to rain there's a little coot nest lots of coot nests at the minute oh, and i have to say i'm a massive fan of graffiti i know a lot of people aren't but i just think it really gives the city what what it's about not a massive fan of barbed wire fences though to be fair uh, this is a nice mural as well with lots of nice tiles and topiary 
topiary, is that the right word? Maybe not. Um, oh, and there's a nice little mooring. This would probably be a nice place to have a mooring, but I can't say that I'd want to be that close to a bunch of buildings. It makes it quite windy. And a lot of the tall buildings are getting new cladding, thankfully, after the Grinfell disaster. Oh, and over here on the left, I don't know what that building was, but I really like it. Oh, and this is goose drama. Like, look out on the left, there's a mean goose. He's going to attack. And then this goose, he gets the brunt of it. He gets scared off into the water, bless him. The red jasmine had to put her in for the na for my name's sake. So yeah, this is probably like absolutely a mix of the good and the bad of London. You've got on the left, you've got the sort of barbed wire fences, and then straight up ahead, you've got a bunch of blossom trees. Like, what could be more typical? Now, when we get under this bridge, we are really coming up to what we call Kensal Green. Um, and one of the best things is the Sainsbury's. And one of the worst things is the gas giant. If you moor too closely to the grass giant, it makes a real funny noise. Um, the Sainsbury's is very handy. Oh, and there's some little cute teenagers just fluffing about. Then, of course, it did decide to piss it down. This Go outside is... if you want, Squeak. Go outside. Hold well on. We moved at the right time. This is why we do not have an end to the video. Since it rained, I thought I'd. Uh, include a couple of clips from the days after when it wasn't raining because some lovely baby gooses came to visit and yeah shock horror I fed them bread I know I want them to be big fat gooses so I can eat them for my Christmas dinner ha 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 so evil ha 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 in fairness I did try to feed them oats they just weren't having any of it A view from our front door. Hello. So last night it rained and it was so rainy that we had to stop filming before the camera broke. Uh, so I'm back today to let you know that it all went okay. We arrived safe and sound. We went to Sainsbury's, stocked up and chilled out inside because it was really rainy and horrible. Um, yeah, so that was our moving day. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like to join us again, you can click subscribe down below. I'd love to hear anything you want to say in the comments and bye!